On Friday, May 11th, the FHS Choir put on their annual Coffee House performance. For those who missed out, you missed an amazing show. Here's a recap. You and I will be safe and sound. A lot of time and effort went into making the Coffee House possible. I enjoyed the different kind of music and the opportunity for solos. I really enjoyed getting to sing with my little sister Sarah and my best friend Kelly Hickman in our song and I also really enjoyed getting to know the people in our choir better than we had known them before. I enjoyed all the music that was there and um, all the singers and the solos and the acts that was there. Choir worked hard this year to reach many goals, including their honorable title at their UIL competition, as well as an amazing show for us. We want to congratulate all the choir seniors. We'll miss you in the fall. Have an amazing summer, and for RACC TV, I'm Beth Cocker. PE classes can be sometimes challenging both mentally and physically. However, they can also be fun. Students in weightlifting like the class for a variety of reasons. It makes you stronger. You're no longer weak. Your muscles get a lot bigger, so you're more attractive to women. And like, it just gets your heart rate going because like, the common killing disease is like heart disease. So if you're working out a lot, it's not gonna happen. I think it makes you stronger. So it like, um, it helps you get better so then you can just keep on working up to your goal. Students enjoy doing a variety of difficult workouts and some even create their own. Um, I'd have to say bench press. It's uh, pretty easy. I do it a lot. So that's actually I like. It's my own workout. It's called Super Duper Man. It's where what you do is that you have the the bench bar, and you do ten militaries. You know, you do uh, ten bicep push-ups, and then you do pull-ups. I basically like doing burnout workouts. Students also do a variety of other activities in the class. We play sports sometimes, and um, it's really fun, like soccer and football. Whenever a coach tells us to do something, it's really hard, whatever it is. Some students take the class to benefit themselves later in life. Well, I plan on serving in the U.S. Armed Forces to kick some butt, like going to be a Green Beret when I'm, in, when I'm older, of course. And also, we have but one body. We're required to take care of it, so I'm trying to get as strong as I possibly can. Weightlifting can be considered a challenging class, but the students who take it become stronger in the end. For RICC TV, I'm Joshua Fletcher. Hey, sir, what are you doing this summer? Um, I'm going on a cruise with all my best friends, and I'm going to the Dominican Republic. With me! Let's see what other FH students are doing this summer. Go to South Beach. I'm going to keep eating. Splash. I'm going to Captiva Island in Florida, and then I'm going to Albuquerque, New Mexico. Yeah. Um, to go tanning and get to look orange and stuff and dye my hair blonde. <laughs> This summer, I'm going to Georgia, skateboard with my homies, you know, stuff like that. Um, I have a lot of things on my mind. Writing a book, uh, maybe I might teach myself a little bit of game development. I may go to Puerto Rico for the summer, uh, you know, a bunch of stuff. It'll be fun. I'm probably going to work out a lot, do it big most of the time, and uh, get some good quality chill time with my friends. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to be playing basketball and just chilling with my family to work and make some good money, save up for my car, hang out with friends, get a tan, I don't know. <laughs> going to Colorado for Street Adventure. Uh, I'm going to Boston to visit some friends. I plan on... <laughs> I love Brandy! Brandy. <laughs> um, I plan on getting black this summer, blacker. <laughs> um, summer track. Um, track in the beach. I plan on going to uh, South Dallas Swag um, and the uh, YNU University in front of a whole bunch of old people and donate my hair to people, boys that need it. So, yeah, it's a pretty crazy summer. Thanks. I'm going to lift weights, get my tanning session on, uh, and just show some friends. You know what I'm saying? Um, a whole lot of working out, getting prepared for football season. 
2011, 20, uh, 2012, 2013 season. Be there. Well, it is my husband and I's 30th anniversary, so we're going to Cabo for a week with a couple of our neighbors, so we'll be, um, you know, laying on the beach, kind of soaking up some sun, and then I'm going to go on a, a short little cruise with three other of my friends from the corral that I sing with, so I'll just be in the sun and at the beach a lot. Wow, it looks like everyone's going to have a really fun summer. Yes, yes it, it does! does. Yes, it does. <laughs> And even though I won't see you next year, hopefully you have an amazing summer. And remember, keep it trashy. Bye, CCTV. This is Sarah Lair. Carlos Harris. I'm about this mug. Keep hitting. <laughs> keep hitting. Amadeus. Brett Mendez. Kaylin Cantrell. Woo! You may notice the letters on the windows as you travel up and down the staircase in front of the library. And if you look closely, you've noticed that there are acceptance letters to FHS students from colleges and universities around the country. Uh, I decided on Morehouse College because of the alumni that I saw that went there in the past. And uh, I thought the school can impact me in a positive light. And I could be the change that I wanted to see and uh, be in the same group as Martin Luther King. And, uh, people of that caliber, so I felt like it was only right that I attend there. Even though I got accepted to UNT and other schools, I felt like this was the right choice. I'm going to Belmont University in Nashville, Tennessee because they gave me a lot of scholarship money and Nashville's a really cool city and it'd be cool to live there. Why'd you choose K-State? I chose K-State because my great-grandparents, grandparents, my sister, my parents all went there and I've just like known and been going there since I was a little kid, so it's just where I want to be. My, the main reason for me going to Colorado School of Mines was for me to pursue my career in chemical engineering and also to run cross country and track. I decided on North Texas because it's a good school. Um, they offer the, the school I want to do, which is business. They have a really good business school, um, and they gave me a lot of money to go there. Uh, I'm going to Middle Tennessee State University. I chose that because it's near Nashville, one of the best um, music places to be. They have one of the best recording programs there because that's what I do when I grow up. Um, also, a lot of uh, famous people have come out of there. Uh, I think like Lady Annabelle and guitar player came out of there, so they have a really good reputation. We're going to Oklahoma State University, and we really liked the campus when we went on our visit. So, And we're rooming together. Sponsored by the FHS National Honor Society, this display is meant to encourage our younger students to pursue higher education. Education is the key to a career, especially a career that you are interested in. And with a career comes compensation, a paycheck, and with a paycheck comes freedom. Find a career that you know you will enjoy and pursue that career in college or in a school that specializes your interests. Dreams can come true if you work for them. For our ACC team, I am Maya Shakir. Many seniors and staff members are about to embark on new journeys, so we gave a chance to their friends to say their goodbyes. I just want to say goodbye to all the band kids, all the band seniors, all the drum majors. They've led us real well this year, so, you know, good luck in the future and have a great time. Mr. Mercer, we're really going to miss you. We know that you're going to have fun at your new job, so have a good time. And I'm going to miss you, too. We're all we're gonna miss you so much and come back and visit us. Okay. Love you. Bye I wanted to wish um, all of my students who are graduating the very best including my son Kurt Wilson. Good luck you guys I'd like to give a congratulations to all the seniors and good luck to your new life that's, ha that's ahead of you um, To all the staff that are leaving. I loved you. I'll still love you as always You'll still be an FHS member in my heart I just want to say bye to my sister Janelle because I'm going to miss her a lot and this is her last year so yeah bye. Hey sis love you um I'm sad that you're graduating but I'm happy for you it's going to be really fun and I'm excited for all the things that are coming at you so love you. To all seniors congratulations we wish you the best you are going to be missed here at the schools. I want to say goodbye to Zach Stewart because he's my favorite in theater and he's going to my favorite school ever, Texas Tech, and he's going to be a, do amazing there and I love him so much. Uh, I'm going to say goodbye to my girlfriend, Stephanie Allen Hoxie. She's going to a and I'm going to miss her and all my other theater friends. Bye, guys. I would like to say goodbye to all of the seniors 
Actually, not all of them. Just the ones that I know. And I'll say bye to the ones that are leaving, too, even if I don't know you. Godspeed. As you shuffle off under this great big world of hope and tragedy, I hope everything turns out your way. <laughs> <laughs> Peace, guys. Good luck. Good luck, seniors and staff members. You will be missed. For RACC TV, I'm Erica Moreno. In last week's show, we covered the remodel that will be taking place over the next several months here at FHS. Part of that project includes a new way of heating and cooling the school. If you noticed the heavy machinery in the front and the back of the school over the last few weeks, it looked like we were drilling for oil. We were drilling, but it wasn't for oil. FHS is installing a geothermal heating and cooling system for the new additions. How does it actually cool and heat? Basically the easiest way to explain it is we're using the ground, the earth, to exchange the temperature for the water that's inside my pipe. So these holes are all 250 feet deep down and we have a pipe that's especially made that that water travels inside the pipe and as it goes down it absorbs the temperature of the ground with what the temperature of the water inside my pipe is and it comes back up. Basically a perfect design that that water temperature as the ground does all the work goes to the unit at about 76 degrees. Therefore the unit inside is, only has to work a couple degrees to either heat or cool depends on what mode we're in right now. These drills laid pipe 250 feet into the earth where the constant temperature remains around 70 degrees. We've heard a lot about the geothermal process, but what is it compared to what we already have? Right now the existing Frisco High School campus has the old chiller four pipe type system for the heating and cooling of the building. The geothermal system is extremely much more efficient and every campus, every new campus in Frisco is using this system. So the, the Frisco ISD decided as they expanded Frisco High School, they wanted to implement this energy efficient system to basically save a lot of money on operating this building. It's so much more energy efficient compared to the old system. The technology has been around for several years, but not until recently has it become cost effective. Because that energy is already there, you don't have to, you know, create cool air to, to cool the school and uh, you don't have to create warm air using air conditioning, typical heating and cooling units, uh, which costs a lot of money. So potentially could save the school a whole lot of money. So if it's 100 degrees or 110 degrees or it's 30 degrees, all that energy to get it to be around 70 is what costs everybody so much money. Not only will the geothermal process cut back on the amount of electricity the school uses, but it will also be a tremendous cost saver. It won't be long before we get to check it out for ourselves. For RACC TV, I'm Rashida Jamerson. Last Thursday, the senior class of 2012 gathered at Stonebriar Community Church for the annual Frisco High School Senior Day celebration. Senior Day is a tradition that began many years ago at FHS and is unique to this high school. It is a special day that allows students, families, and friends to reminisce and get together one last time before graduation. Remember when we met new friends after Hurricane Katrina? Remember when we lost recess and went to eight classes a day? Yeah, that was the worst trait in history. Remember when Eric, Allen's, Eric Allen became a Jonas Brother look-alike with straightened hair? The FHS Chamber Orchestra opened their program with Nicole Hathaway singing Hero. There's a hero If you look inside your heart You don't have to be afraid of what you are And Mitch Larios bouncing and tumbling his way from one end of the stage to the other. It was all over by 11.30 that morning, and everyone appeared to have a good time, even while wearing a tie. What did you guys enjoy about Senior Day? Uh, it, was, it was cool seeing all the kids cross the stage, uh, making that, uh, that little leap of faith. That was cool. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Seeing all the seniors grow up, my little hiddens, uh, all my little guys <laughs> walk across the stage. Listening to the repeated memories and stuff we like that. Hitting. You know what I'm saying? 
you know, just got to see my homeboys walk across the stage, you know, happy for them in the future. See Ray in the time. See my beautiful sister. Walking across the stage, not falling at all. We made it across. Class of 2012. Um, I really liked it. Um, it was a lot of fun just to like see how like everybody like came into the school and stuff and uh, it was kind of long but uh, it was fun and uh, just glad that we can all go off to college now and um, and just be on our own. Carly? Um, it was another fun senior event, something to get dressed up for. It was really long but I guess it was worth it. All the acts were really good. Kyle, thoughts? <laughs> um, well, I'm not sure what the question is, but... How did you like senior day? Uh, we got off of school at noon, so that's always a blast, and it was good to one last hurrah right before graduation. Did you think senior day turned out the way you thought it'd be? Yeah, it wasn't bad, I, mean, I guess. Like, we had some really good people singing and stuff, just chilled, relaxed. It was cool. Uh, Mitch's gymnastics was really cool, so that was fun. Senior day was awesome. It was very cool. Uh, yeah, it was a little long, but it was a lot of fun, and I enjoyed it, so I liked it. Um, I didn't have very high expectations for it, and it turned out a lot better than I expected, so it was, a, it was a good day. The next and last stop is graduation, this Friday afternoon at Dr. Pepper Arena. Good luck, seniors. For ICC TV, I'm Chris Robertson. Faster than a speeding bullet. Look, up in the sky! It's a bird! It's a plane! It's the weatherman! Welcome to the last weekend weather watch of the 2011 through 2012 school year. Summer doesn't officially begin until June 21st, but it already feels like the geothermal system is already working quite well above ground. Today will be partly cloudy with a high of 97 and a low of 73. A cool front sweeps in on Thursday and we may see some isolated thunder showers with a high of 84 and a low of 62. Sun comes back out in time for graduation, and we are going to have blue skies and a pleasant high of 84 and a low of 65. Remember, school lets out at noon on Friday, which gives us the new meaning to the phrase, Go Raccoons! For RACC TV, this is Flores Jackson. Have a great summer. During that long summer, remember, Nobody loves you like I do.